a um, Wellington um, emergency medical specialist thinks the ecstasies should be made uh, legal. Do you think that should happen? Well, I haven't seen any advice on anything I've seen in relation to that drug has been deeply negative, so I can't see why it would be. I mean, people won't make the case around medical use of, of um, drugs all the time, but uh, the government would take a lot of convincing that was the right thing to do. So the government think... wouldn't legalise ecstasy? No, I don't think so. Do you... What sort what of potential about... harms do you think that would have? Very, very significant. I mean, there are always, I mean, with, with all of these sort of drugs, you know, there is always a case that, you know, they contain certain molecules or whatever which can be used, and that's the argument, for instance, for instance around uh, um, legalising sort of cannabis for medical reasons that has a particular set of molecules in it that can be used, and, and that might be right, actually, you might be able to actually take that out. And for instance, the, the drug that's being administered, as I understand it, to the young man in, in Wellington, Alex, I think that is non psychoactive, it just has something which is a structure on THC that's actually in, in marijuana. So he, sometimes we mix the terms, but if you're talking about giving people ecstasy tablets to make them feel better, I don't think that'll be happening under a national government. Are you surprised an emergency doctor would even suggest that? Well, I just haven't seen his comments, and I don't know what he's talking about, and he could be talking about you know, stripping out some chemical formula, I just don't really know.